couldn't explain myself to make this video actually because I kind of didn't realize they were actually going to release this episode. Like I wasn't realizing that they were actually going to release the entire of the Steins Gate episode, which changes the events of episode 23, if I'm correct. In this timeline, sorry to me myself because I'm a bit of an uncomfortable position. In this timeline, basically, it's I swear it's the beta timeline, not the not the Steins Gate timeline. So this is the beta timeline when he doesn't actually choose to save Karisu. He basically lives his life on as it basically nothing, or well, something did happen, but he didn't choose to save her in that regard. So basically, I swear it's the normal timeline, because the other timelines when he changes everything and everyone else has changed. Yeah, when you take a long break between watching the Steins Gate. It kind of does affect you after a while, because you're kind of like, Oh crap, yeah, these events. I was like, whoa, okay, okay, okay. But yeah, I'm playing through the visual novel at the moment, so I'm kind of getting the gist of what's going on. But, goddamn, this episode was pretty damn intense. Like, going back and watching all my all my friends basically go through all the torture again just kind of ripped my heart slightly, because, again, this is the anime that, got, this is the anime that single handedly got me back into anime, because there was a brief position between, I swear it was 2008 and 2011, I didn't even watch any anime. So a good almost four years, and then Steins came along and basically changed my opinion completely. I still hold it as the greatest anime I've ever seen in my lifetime, because it is single handed the greatest anime of my in my entire life. Like, I've not found one better than this one. But goddamn. Basically, yeah, this this basically is the pedal to the new game. This is the Steins Gate Zero game. So I'm guessing the Steins Gate Zero game will now explain the lead up to the new kind of World War Three. When I'm, what was explained in the end of the if, of the anime, if I'm correct, because he does actually send a video back to past Okabe that says, "Go and save her," because basically all hell breaks loose, and then basically that's what his drive is to go and save Kurisu. That's if my memory serves me correct from the end of the anime. And yeah, so it doesn't actually show you completely that area because I'm guessing the anime that will follow the actual vision will cover that, so this only basically gives you until the point of when he has to go back, goes back to college and kind of parts way with... I'm guessing he kind of parts way with Mayuri and, uh, and Daru because in the end Daru is never shown so I don't know if Daru actually is carrying on with his own life or he goes goes with Okabe, I don't know, it doesn't really explain that it kind of shows you it kind of shows you Mayuri and Okabe's relationship again which, in my opinion, was the strongest point of the whole anime. Like, the characters were my, my favourite point. So was the actual timeline. So was the actual future stuff. The future stuff was actually really damn great. Like, certain films and certain animes don't actually capture the idea of the future so well, but this one kind of does. That's why I love it so much. And, yeah, so we don't really see many of the characters. A lot of the characters are absent. Like, when it gets to the point of after those events, the characters are quite absent. There wasn't... They only showed you Mayuri and Okabe. And they show you that they're not in the future lab anymore. So the future lab's kind of been, I guess, abandoned in a way. So I don't know if Daru's still there. Because again, it doesn't really show you anything. It just says, oh, do you guys see them? You guys see the future lab? He's going to be in there in a while. It's been quiet. And that's basically all you get as information. There's not really much else after that point. Which is kind of depressing because I didn't kind of see what. I didn't kind of see one want to know what happens to Daru and everyone like that in that timeline because. They're my favourite characters, man. I need to know. My, they're my babies. I can't kill them. I, mean, I guess I'm not dead because they kind of are in the new game. Because if you watch the opening to the game, you know sort of what happens. But and then at the end, you also get shown Carissa. I'm not too sure if if Okabe kind of almost creates like a virtual version of her or like someone's acting like her. I'm not too sure. So again, it doesn't really explain. It. it just kind of sort of ends there and goes. This has given this has given me hope for the for my destiny and that, and it goes El Congru, which again was the most single handedly most chilling thing I've had in my anime for a long while. And it goes El Congru really slow at the end. I was like, Oh it's like my pulled back just went like completely dead. But yeah, that was basically the whole of the episode. If I'm credit it's episode twenty three, so it rewrites episode twenty three slightly. Like I guess this is kind of this is kind of the timeline you get if you actually kind of Go F it and I'm doing anything else now. And yeah, he kind of does because he kind of just, he's a broken man. He finds that he killed her. He's just like, I can't, sorry, I can't. I'm out of here. That's basically what happens. He just kind of says, I'm out of here. And that's, that's how it ends. And it's kind of a, dep it's, it's a depressing note of, an, of kind of an episode as well. When you kind of don't watch the anime since 2011, you kind of look back to this episode, you're kind of like, oh, my heart is broken. It kind of just—it was a hard episode to get through because it does—it does kind of put you fro it throws you into the deep end. If you kind of remember what the events are in the anime, because again, I—I I did watch—I swear I watched this anime through twice, so I kind of do have the knowledge of the events. 
and I'm watching, I'm playing for the visual novel, so it kind of, I do have the event knowledge. And still, I did kind of get myself confused in some regards, because I just didn't know sometimes what happened. I guess, and also, we never really get shown Suzuha as well, because Suzuha is kind of the agent of the future. So you don't really get shown her in the Steins Gate timeline. Well, not the Steins Gate timeline, the beta timeline. So you don't really get the showing her in that kind of regard, unless she doesn't actually go there at that point, because I'm guessing she must go back to go and kind of try and save her to stop World War Three. I'm guessing that's what happens. Because, again, the absence of some of the characters. I'm guessing Ferris wasn't even there, either. Who else wasn't there? I've got to move my head. Braun wasn't even there, but Braun, in one of the timelines, I'm guessing, he was the murderer. Like, he's one of the murderers. Yeah, so I guess it's a pretty damn confusing. Also, Lightning Fingers wasn't even there either. So there was absence of some certain things, but I guess, I guess in, in its entirety, this episode was basically just to to set to set up the new anime that will come soon after the visual novel comes out, and uh, and also the new visual novel, which I will be getting when it gets dubbed. And when it gets dubbed, it gets put in the subtitles because I can't play for a Japanese game that has so much story. And I don't know what the f's going on because again, I would love to let's play it because it's, again. Stein's got my favorite anime of all time. I just can't understand Japanese more than a certain few words. So there's no point in me sitting there playing it. But like, this seems pretty cool. I'm not knowing what the hell's going on. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So this is actually 10 hours late because I didn't even realize this anime came out. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do want to support me, you can, leave a subs you can subscribe to my future videos, which are out daily, sometimes three times a day. And also leave a like, it does help quite a bit if I know people who actually watch my videos. But with all that said, I have been the driver, and I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.